Have you seen me dice bag? <laughs> Grognard Files. Hello, I'm Dirt the Dice, host of the Grognard Files podcast, where we talk bobbins about tabletop RPGs from back in the day. Our very first episode was all about RuneQuest, because RuneQuest was our very first RPG, and it remains the game that we love the most. My first rulebook is looking a little worse for wear. Retentive collectors should uh, look away now because I butchered it so that it could fit neatly into a ring binder. Gateway Beastry is in there too. Uh, Sandy Peterson's additional monsters from mythology, uh, Lovecraftian horrors and a full page picture of a dolphin in case you didn't know what they looked like. And th- this is a replica of the first box set that I took home in 1981, trying to make sense of it all. It was produced in the UK by Gaines Workshop. It featured a homage to Louise Perrin's original illustration by Ian McCraig. She'll catch a death. I mean, what's she thinking? Hasn't she read the rules? We searched and searched this box, looking for a board. It went back to the uh, shop at first. Thanks to the basic rules, we soon got our heads round it, and the rest is history. Our early games cast Gringle from the famous pawn shop in Apple Lane as a villain. The rumours of him being a shape changer were taken at face value. Your Glorantha will vary and all that. There have been different versions and revisions and reprints of RuneQuest over the years. We stopped playing RPGs for over 30 years. We came back to the hobby and played classic RuneQuest and rediscovered the great campaigns from back in the day. Borderlands, Griffin Mountain. We even worked out how to play RuneQuest 6 with its authentic but complicated special attacks. When New Chaosium launched their Kickstarter to reprint RuneQuest at the end of 2015, I had to be part of the tribe. I went in big. I pledged at Rune Lord level. I never knew I'd make the experience rolls or attract the benevolence of Orlanth, so I'm ashamed to say that I'm a checkbook Rune Lord. The box is wonderfully packed with the care and attention of a new iMac. Inside, there's a Games Master screen, specially printed to commemorate 50 years of Glorantha. There's the old school character sheets. I got the leatherette hardback copy with a great dust sheet. The rules have been lovingly laid out with the appendix built into the main body of the text. There's a few extras too from Worm's footnotes. And there's the stats block for the sample character, Rurik the Rune Lord. In addition to the rules, I got the OSR bundle. Some of the original chat books produced by Chaosium. There's books of statistics for NPCs and enemies. Because the best thing about RuneQuest is that the NPCs are as meticulously created as the PCs. But the bad thing about RuneQuest is that the NPCs are as meticulously created as the PCs, which can make RuneQuest hard work for the Games Master. Thankfully, Chaosium produced booklets of enemies generated on those fancy computers that everyone's talking about. Apple Lane was the second scenario pack. Ballister's Barracks was the first. Adventuring in the Big Rubble. As an extra treat for Kickstarter backers, Rick Mainz included a previously unpublished adventure by Greg Stafford. The Sea Cave was to be the third scenario pack, but it was not finished. It's been reproduced here with Greg Stafford's pencil mark character sheets. Brilliant. So what's next for RuneQuest? Well, 
As I wait patiently for the playtest facsimile of the original rules, the next edition of RuneQuest is in development, and it's going to be a major revision, bringing RuneQuest back to Glorantha. It looks very exciting. If you would like the chance to play the Sea Cave adventure online, then find out more about our Patreon campaign. Or, if you want to listen to the podcast and you haven't yet, then please have a look at thegrognardfiles.com. That's where you'll find us. Well, I'm absolutely delighted with the reprint of the rules. I promise not to take a scalpel to them and put them in a ring binder. Adios, amigos. Have you seen me dice bag? The Grognard Files <laughs>